RC Davis for Warriors.com with 5'11 guard out of Xavier to Holloway, who, by the way, just commented on my sweet new kicks. That, oh, that's a nice kick, right there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a smooth idea. Right Footlocker.com. Yeah, you're doing your thing with those. Why do you go by two? You used to go by Terrell, right? Yeah, I'm saying my name is Terrell Holloway, but my whole life everybody called me two, so I'm just more comfortable with that. What have you noticed in these workouts? It's not the A10, is it? Yeah, but you know, in the A10, we played. You know, our, we played a lot of good teams in the NCAA tournament every year, and also our uh, non-conference schedule is is always high level. And also, you know, the A10 did get four teams in the tournament this year, so we, you know, we're a pretty good conference. What weaknesses are you trying to show these people are not weaknesses in your game? Well, you know, it's it's difficult. When you know when you're in these workouts and you can't play five on five and show people that you can run the team and things like that. So you know, in the workouts, you just got to show that you can compete and that you can play at a high level. You've been working through this workout process before. You worked out for the Nets or in their combine, I believe, last year. How much of an advantage was that this year going into it, knowing kind of how it works? But honestly, you know, um, the deadline, I believe, was much earlier. Um, I mean, last year we had more time, so I stayed in. I stayed at Xavier and worked out for about a week or two before the uh, Nets combine, and then I worked out once. And I was out out of the draft. You know, this year this is my seventh workout this month, so I didn't get actually get a chance to go uh, to do the team individual workouts where there's only uh, six guys or something. You know, last year the next workout I had 44 guys, and basically what we did was just shoot and play five on five. So it was actually, you know, I entered the draft last year, but it's a new process for me. You mentioned this is your seventh workout already. Is it going like fast and furious, or do you have time when you get on the plane to go, oh, I should have done this this workout, or I should have done that, or I'm going to make sure I do this tomorrow? Yeah, you know, uh, no matter what, no matter how good you play in a workout, I feel, for me, I'm a perfectionist, so there's always regrets. But, you know, it's quick. You know, this weekend I had Jersey on uh, Friday and Saturday. You know, I went back to, went back to Hempstead uh, Saturday night. Then I had to leave Monday night to go work out for the Sixers Tuesday. I took a train from Philadelphia back to New York City uh, Tuesday. I had the Knicks on Wednesday, stayed a night in Hempstead again on Wednesday. I was on a plane Thursday to Houston. And I had the Rockets Friday, flew back to Vegas this past weekend, and now I'm back in, and I'm in Oakland on, uh, on Monday. So, so Frequent flyer miles. Yeah, frequent flyer miles. <laughs> but that just shows that you know this is a business, and this isn't you know games anymore. Some guys choose not to go to a workout if they were at another workout across the country. Sounds like you're doing whatever you can to. Yeah, I got a, um, yeah, I got a great agent with uh, Justin Zanuck, so. You know, I feel like, um, you know, whatever he advised me to do, I feel like it's the best situation. You know, when I'm caught, I'm a warrior, so I'm just ready to go to the next city. And, you know, whatever time to work out, I'm ready to go. What's it like at Impact there in Vegas? Just a bunch of guys just yeah, you know, all going a, for that goal. Yeah, so, you know, I've been there the last two summers. Every, uh, after uh, summer school is every, I will go out to Vegas for a couple of weeks and just, uh, you know, train and get ready for the next season. But now, you know, I'm in the draft, so just a whole bunch of guys out there, you know, a bunch of, um, uh, it's about... Uh, 20 prospects, 20 draft prospects, and we're just uh, we're just getting after it every day. You've been described as a tough-nosed point guard. Is that accurate? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I would say <laughs> I like to look at myself as a, a tough-nosed player. So you like to get after it. Yeah, I enjoy getting after it. Enjoy making people uncomfortable. Did you uh, play any other sports growing up? Football? Yeah, I played football. I was a quarterback. You know, I played football my whole life from I was like five years old to I was about 16. And then, I, you know, basketball got even more serious. And, you know, I kind of had people advising me, like, you know, you need to cut the, uh, cut the football out. Your future's in basketball. Who would you say your game compares to at the next level? Well, I would say... Um, I feel like I'm like a Chris Paul. You know, you watch the game with Chris Paul throughout the first three quarters. You know, he's a facilitator and keeping guys involved. And, you know, once the fourth quarter of the game comes at crunch time, he's taking over the game, scoring. So you feel you know, okay, now it's time. I'm gonna, the team needs me to score. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Now it's the fourth quarter. It's game time. I'm going to put in. Exactly. Where are you off to next? I'm back to Vegas until uh, I got the Bulls. at the Bulls on the fourth. And then I got, uh, then I got the combine after that. He's Two Holloway. I'm R.C. Davis for Warriors.com.